Hello, Grand Rapids. I'm City Manager Mark Washington. Good to be with you as we get closer and closer to spring. Uh, this is uh, Women's History Month, and I want to celebrate all the women who have made important contributions to this community and our country, and particularly to my life, to my mother, my my wife and, and daughters, how much I, uh, you should know how much I appreciate all of you. And also, we're transitioning from, from Black History Month, and, and last month we also uh, provided an update to the city commission. And I want to encourage all of you, if you've not been able to uh, see the update, this uh, mid-year performance management report covers a lot of uh, progress that we're making in light of the pandemic and the economic recession. And we spent the the entire day on the 23rd, uh, talking about the economic outlook and financial uh, future for our city. Uh, we shared the fact that while we were anticipating some uh, 15 to $20 million shortfall in income tax revenue, uh, we got real good news this past weekend. We've uh, been working very closely with our partners at the state and federal government for local aid and relief. And it looks like uh, we will get uh, some relief from um, either the state or the federal government. We still haven't uh, gotten the final uh, results from it, but we're looking forward for uh, the funding from the American Rescue Plan. Uh, but also we received good news on in terms of housing support and as assistance with eviction uh, prevention as well as rental assistance and helping our homeless community through additional funding from the U.S. Treasury that has been allocated to the state that will result in about $38 million in Kent County. And we'll partner with uh, Kent County and Salvation Army and United Way in um, distributing uh, those funds in our areas that will allow people to get some rental and housing support. So some very good news in our community. If you go back to that uh, a briefing on the 23rd, you'll also hear updates on all of our areas of strategic priorities, but also specifically in the afternoon, we talked about uh, the police chief provided an update on uh, his strategic plan, and uh, we're seeing some good results earlier on uh, in this year. Our homicide uh, rates are significantly lower uh, from last year. Last year we had all-time high of uh, 38 homicides, and this year, year to date, we've, we've experienced two. Now, one is too many, but uh, certainly we do not want an encore, a repeat of what we uh, saw last year. So appreciate the community and your partnership, your vigilance. Uh, we've talked about more things that we need to do in terms of a, a prevention model. And uh, our oversight office, uh, Brandon Davis, also gave an update on some of the things that we're doing to bring uh, to fruition our evidence-based crime prevention program. So I invite you to uh, go in and revisit and, and look at uh, that briefing. We also heard about our um, the exciting possibility of reimagining our community together through our master planning efforts and looking at land use and all the important things that we want to value as we move forward in a very inclusive way, uh, looking at our future of our city over the next 20 to 30 years. So I appreciate Ms. Turkelson, who is our planning director, and her staff and her leadership in, in leading in that conversation and look forward to more engagement in our community uh, as we finalize or begin to embark on our master planning efforts. Last night at the city commission meeting, the commission extended uh, the use of social zones uh, through December, excuse me, November uh, 2021. And this will allow more outdoor gathering and dining for retailers and restaurants. Uh, even though the governor has allowed uh, indoor capacity now to be at about 50% of occupancy and has also uh, allowed more um, loosening of restrictions and uh, up to 300 people at outdoor gatherings, what we're finding is that the social zones are, are still needed for added capacity and vibrancy. It just makes our city uh, look so much alive. But as we do that, I want to encourage everyone to continue to be vigilant uh, this pandemic has taken too many lives. Make sure that you're practicing physical distancing, washing your hands, and of course, wearing your mask. And those of you that are eligible, as we have newer guidelines to, uh, to get your vaccinations. I'm seeing uh, heavy utilization of uh, the downtown mass vaccination site at DeVos Place and seeing good numbers across the country. 
because uh, the, the pandemic has just taken so many lives unnecessarily. Over a half a million Americans have lost their lives to COVID-19 and uh, almost 7, 17,000 Michiganders. And so we want to do our part. We can uh, beat this pandemic together. Uh, we will be able to build back better and uh, be the vibrant, inclusive, robust uh, community that I know that we all want uh, here in Grand Rapids. So continue to be safe. Look forward to visiting with you uh, next month, and uh, hopefully I'll see you around town. Take care.